Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rick Neal from ProSlidePacks.com answering a question for Scott and others about the SWF panel and the ad animation sequences. This is some crazy stuff. Uh, there are going to be some people that's going to be saying, what? I don't understand. What you have to do is take this information in order and it'll make sense to you, but it's just playing around with the way animations work. Now, if you're looking at my girl here on the screen, you can see that what she does is she points, she's stopping right here, pointing, holding for three seconds, then she's going to move to here and point for three seconds, and then she's going to move down here and point for three seconds, then she's going to move out and put her hand on her hip for the duration of the slides. And I just made her flip twice during that last duration. The way I'm having to move across the screen is that I have this animation set up so that it waits here long enough for her to do her point. Then when she moves across the screen, it enough frames should have passed by in order for her to be in a different position when she points again. Now there's still some tweaking I need to do to get it right on but I think this is enough to show you what's going on. So <clears throat> one of the problems that some people are having matching up the timing is that they're missing the in-between timing here. So here's what happens. This thing runs for 160 frames. If these are the frames where it stops, it's going to stop here and insert these amount of frames to add that additional time as a pause. 72 frames is three seconds. So basically the animation is going to run till frame 12 and it's going to stop there for 72 seconds. Then it's going to resume at frame 13 and run for 34 frames to frame 46 where it's going to stop again for three seconds or 72 frames. Then it's going to resume running at frame 47 and run up to frame 91 and then stop. And it's gonna stop here for 72 frames or three seconds. Then starting at frame 92, it's gonna run all the way up to frame 160 and be done because that's the end of the animation. So that's the 12 second spot, it stopped there and then it's running up to 46 and it stops right there. And then it runs up to 91 and it stops right there. And then it continues running the rest of the animation. But all I've done is just added some motion to it while it's doing its thing. So here's some of the math problems that people have where you want to say that, okay, well, if this starts at frame 12 and it's going to hold there for 72 frames, then if I put 84 frames in the animation, it should stop there, hold her hand up. And, and then by the time I go to this next one, I can have her hold her point up one, then two, then three. Well, that's not really true because it's going to stop there for 72 seconds. And then from frame 12 to frame 40, 40, I believe, or 40 or 39, the hand is still pointing up. From 39 to 46, the hand goes down. Then at frame 46, the hand is exactly at the number two position and it holds there for 72 frames. Once it's done holding there, then there's still some frames between here. So let's see, 91 minus the 46 equals, so there's 45 frames in between here. So she's pointing at number two, stands there for 72 frames. And then for about another 38 frames, she's still pointing to number two and her hand, then the hand motion goes to number three and the number three motion is in place and stops at frame 91. And then it holds itself there for 72 frames. Then at frame 92 continues on through 160. All right. The, the trick is 72 plus 12 plus the 34 in between here. So 72 plus 12 plus the 34 for S, that's going to be 118. So from here to here to the space between here and here is 118 frames. Okay, so what I wanted her to do was point up to number one 
and hold there for that number one, then jump here prior to going point to number two. Well, this is the first one, right? So I'm starting her on the screen with the first one. Then I want her to stand there for 105 frames. Now it's 118 frames for the whole action, but remember some of that is, is her holding her hand up and then bringing it down. So I'm gonna have her stand in place for 105 frames, which is most of that time. And then when she moves from here to here, that's 10, so that, that gives me 115 frames before she points to the number two. So she's gonna move from here to here in 10 frames, just under a half a second. Then she's gonna stand in place for 107 seconds. Okay, and then once that is done, then she's gonna move over to here. So she's gonna do that in 10 seconds. And that's gonna be prior to her pointing to that number three spot. Then she's gonna stand in place for 106 frames with that number three pose, right? Then she's gonna fly over here in one second or 24 frames while she's putting her hand on her hip. And then I just added this other thing. So in, in eight frames, she just flips over. You know, I can make this a little bit shorter. I, I make it about 18, a little more responsive. So pointing to one for 72, then the distance between there and 46. Now she pointing to two for 72 seconds. Now she got to run from 47 to 91 and for three. 72, and then now she's gonna run through the whole animation, put her hand on her hip, and then flip over. See, so that's basically how that works. I know some people are gonna still say, what? You know, but here's what you're looking at. The animation is 160 frames. You're adding additional frames to the overall animation. So it's gonna be a 72 times three plus the 160 in total once you're done. And then know that it's gonna come here to this frame, stop for a count of 72 frames or three seconds. Then it's gonna play from frame 13 to frame 46. Then it's gonna stop at frame 46 and wait there for a count of 72 frames. Then from frame 47 to frame 91, it's gonna play and then stop at 91 for a total count of 72 frames. And then at frame 92 through frame 160 is just gonna play on through. Those are the timings you need to be aware of when you are trying to play around over here and trying to break up the action so that it moves and does something, then moves and does something, then moves and does something. Like my attempt here is to point at one thing and then to move her over to point at the number two thing and then to move her over again to point at the number three thing and then just to have her turn around and put her hand on her hip to say, well, I'm, you know, I'm done. Okay, and then the additional flip just to talk to both sides of the audience. So hopefully that's clear as mud or at least clear as rainwater and uh, at least give you a, some idea of what you're dealing with. Because I know if you just look at these timings as they are, you think that, okay, well, you stop it at 12 and 72. Well, why is it still go? Remember, it's stopping at 12, stopping, pausing at 12 for, for 72 frames, and then it's going to continue running at frame 13 to frame 46, and then it's gonna stop there for 72 frames, it's gonna count. It's not gonna move, it's gonna count there. But these frames are still being added to the overall. Then from frame 47 to frame 91, it's gonna run, stopping at frame 91 for 72 frames, it's gonna wait there. And then from frame 92 to frame 160, it's gonna run and, be, and then complete. And then the last thing I'll say is, since I know that her hand pointing up is at frame 12, I can add 12 to this number and have her end pointing up. So now if I go back to 160, which is where it should be, then you see that everything is correct because now the timing is correct. So she's starting in the right position. Let me just make sure, starting in the right position, stopping here. Then she's gonna move on over to 46 where she stops there for 72. And then she's gonna move on over to 91 for that third pointy position. And now she's gonna put her hands on her hip and turn around and flip and address both sides of the audience. So hopefully that helps you. 
Um, the thing over here is to be able to stack the characters so they can stand in place. And it might be kind of hard to line these up, but if you use, look at these dots right here, when you get the dots pretty much lined up, they're pretty much stacked on top of one another. So that's one good indicator right there. This is Rick from ProSlidePacks.com trying to help you with the animation and SWF panel. Remember, there is time between these two that needs to be added in your overall calculation or you'll be off. Okay. Have a good day.